Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you 10 underrated but insanely useful features on your Samsung S25 Ultra that you probably didn't know existed. These are not your usual tips. We're diving into clever widgets, smart shortcuts, and time-saving tricks that will make your S25 Ultra even more powerful. If you love getting the most out of your tech, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you never miss the best Android tips. So let's get started. Tip number one is where you can quick swipe to call or message on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can quickly swipe on a contact to either call or message them from the contacts or your phone app. So you swipe right to call and swipe left to message. So let me show you this trick. So here you want to go ahead and open up the phone app. Now the normal way of making a call is by just tapping on it and then tapping on call or tapping on message to message them. However, in this video, I'll show you a trick where if you swipe right, it'll call, and if you swipe left, it'll message. So as an example here, the Simple Dad 16 Pro Max, I'll want to call this person here, so I'll go ahead and swipe right, and this will instantly make a call. If I want to message this person, I can go ahead and swipe left, and this will directly go into my message to message that person. So it saves time and skips extra taps. It's super handy when you're multitasking or in a rush. Tip number two is where you can add a countdown widget for your calendar on your lock screen. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the Samsung's calendar widget with countdown functionality and place it directly on your lock screen via the lock screen widget. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and long press on a home screen anywhere and then tap on wallpaper and style. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on your lock screen. Now this will let you customize your lock screen. And then from here, to add a countdown widget for your calendar, go ahead and tap on Add Widgets. From here, find Calendar, and then go ahead and scroll down and find Countdown. So you have two types of countdown widgets. So you have a countdown which is showing you days left, and there's another countdown which is basically showing you the day and what event it is. So go ahead and choose the one that you require. So as you can see, it's been added. Tap Done. Now to start a countdown, go ahead and lock your phone, tap to wake up your lock screen, tap on start a countdown, enter in your pin number. Here you wanna go ahead and choose what event you want to count down to. So let's just put down the Mother's Day, lock the screen again, wake it up. And as you can see, it's showing me there's 362 days left for Mother's Day. So this is great for tracking upcoming events like vacations, deadlines, or birthdays without unlocking your phone. And you just have to wake up your phone, look at your lock screen at a glance, and you can see the countdown. Tip number three is where you add a voice recorder widget to your lock screen. So Samsung allows you to add the voice recorder widget on your lock screen directly, so you can start recording instantly. So let me show you how to do this. So first, you're gonna go ahead and long press anywhere on the home screen, then tap on wallpaper and style. Next, tap on your lock screen. Now from here where it says add widget, just under your time, tap on that. Go ahead and scroll down and find the voice recorder. Now you have two types of widgets. You have a small one and a big one. So go ahead and choose which one you like. So I've added a big one here, which basically shows me the time of how much I'm recording. Press done. Now go ahead and lock your screen. Wake your screen up. Now to start recording, tap on that. This will now start recording your voice. As you can see, there's a countdown. And at the bottom here, you have a live notification of what your phone is doing. So it's recording at the moment. And once you've recorded, press stop. And this voice file will be saved to your phone. So this is perfect for journalists, students, or anyone who needs to quickly capture thoughts or conversation. This is also useful in discrete situations where you can just basically tap on your lock screen and it'll start to record the conversation you're having with the other person. Tip number four is where you change the countdown widget image. In your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can personalize your countdown event by changing the image associated with the event in the calendar app. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and create a calendar event. So here we'll open up the calendar app. And let's just say, for example, on the 16th May, we have someone's birthday. So we'll go ahead and add an event. Now I wanna go ahead and add a widget on my home screen. So I'll go ahead and tap on the event, tap on the event again, then tap on more at the bottom right, and then tap on add countdown widget. 
So this is how my countdown widget will look like. I'll tap on add. Now the countdown widget has been added to my home screen. As you can see, it's right here. Now to change the image of this widget, I want to go ahead and long press on it, then tap on settings. Now I can go ahead and configure this. So I can basically scroll down, tap on custom image. I'll go ahead and select an image from here. Go ahead and choose the part of an image. So for example, this much. Tap done. And now this is the image that's been changed to. So I'll tap on save. And now I've changed my countdown widget image to this from my phone library. So this basically adds a personalized touch and it's a visual way to stay excited about upcoming events on your phone. Tip number five is where you can identify a song from other apps using Google. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you have Google Assistant or the search widget to identify background music, even if it's playing from Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or any other app. So let me show you how to do this. So here as an example, I've opened up your TikTok app and we'll go ahead and browse through these videos and say, for example, I want to identify what the song is. So to identify this song, I want to go ahead and long press on my home button. This will now give me an option to search, song search or translate. So here I want to go ahead and do a song search. Now I'll go ahead and make sure the volume is high. And as you can see, it has recognized the song and it has given me a Google search on that song. So no need for a third party app like Shazam. It's fast, simple, and it's built into your phone. For those of you who are not getting that option, you will need to go ahead and open up the Play Store, search for the Google app, and you need to make sure you have this installed on your phone. If you don't have this installed, then you won't get that option to do a song search on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Tip number six is to remind yourself to charge your phone at 10% battery. So if you're a heavy phone user and you kind of forget to charge your phone, you can create a routine to set a low battery reminder for yourself. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the app called Modes and Routine. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on plus sign. Now here you wanna go ahead and create a new routine. So we'll go if we'll find something related to battery. So if battery level is less than 10%, then here you can go ahead and choose if you want to show notification or play sound. I wouldn't recommend showing notification as your phone already shows you notification to charge your phone. However, you can go ahead and add the function to play the sound. So go ahead and search for play sound or play music. Now you want to go ahead and choose what music you want to play. So you can go ahead and choose a Spotify music press save, give it a name. And now when your battery level is 10% or below, this routine will start up and will show you will play a sound. So you never get caught with a dead phone again, especially before heading out. Tip number seven is to change their side button to power off. By default on your Samsung S25 Ultra, the side button opens up Bixby or Google Assistance, but you can change it to open the power menu. So let me show you how to do this. So there are two ways of doing this. You can go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down, tap on advanced features, and then find the side button. And then here you'll be able to find the long press. And here you can go ahead and choose if you want digital assistance, Bixby, or just power off menu. The second way of changing this is by holding down the volume down button and the power button together you'll get this menu here. So this is the power off menu. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find the side button settings. And here you can go ahead and tap on long press and then you can go ahead and choose what you like. So here, since the video is about changing it to power off menu, select power off menu, tap home. Now when you go ahead and long press on the side button, this will show you the power off menu on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this makes shutting down or restarting your device much easier than holding the two buttons on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Tip number eight is to combine quick panel and notification together. So are you annoyed that when you look at your notification, there is no quick panel menu. However, if you wanna to go to your quick panel menu, you need to go ahead and drag down from the right again, or you can go ahead and just swipe left and right. 
However, this is a lot of extra buttons and swipes to do on the Samsung S25 Ultra. So let me show you how to combine both of these menus together on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So you can set the pull down gesture to show both the notification and the quick settings panel in one swipe. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. Next, tap on the pencil icon and then tap on panel settings. Now from here, you'll see this option where it says separate or together. So it shows you a description where if you swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to open the quick settings panel, and if you swipe down from anywhere else on the top of the screen, that will open up the notification panel. However, we want to go ahead and tap on together. So you view notifications and you collapsed quick settings together to view the full quick settings panel, swipe down one more time and you'll get the quick panel menu. So we'll go ahead and tap on home. Now, when you go ahead and swipe anywhere, you get your quick panel menu and you get your notification as well. So this one swipe gets you full access to toggles and messages. So it's great for one handed use. Tip number nine is to scan and create PDF documents instantly. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you have a secret weapon to create PDFs by scanning them. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll need to go ahead and make sure we have Google Drive installed on your phone. So go ahead and search for Google Drive. Make sure this app is installed. Next, press home on your home screen. Go ahead and long press anywhere on the screen Then tap on widgets. Now you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find the Google Drive or Drive widgets. From here, find Drive Scan, which looks like that. Tap on this, tap on add, choose an account where you want to place all those scanned documents. Now go ahead and choose where you want to store those scans. So I'll go ahead and create a new folder, scan PDF, tap create, select that folder. Now here, this is the icon which has been created. So in order to use this, I'll go ahead and tap on this. This will open up my camera and I can go ahead and point it anywhere I like. Tap on capture. And this will create me a PDF of whatever it has scanned through the camera. I can press done and I can go ahead and tap on save. And now a PDF has been created and it has been uploaded to my Google Drive. So it's ideal for receipts, contracts, and quick digitization. No extra apps is needed on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Tip number 10 is to turn on swipe to type on your Samsung keyboard. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can enable the glide typing to type faster by swiping across the letters instead of tapping it. So if you struggle with typing on this Samsung keyboard, either your fingers are really fat and it basically hits other letters rather than the letters you intend to use, you can turn on swipe typing, which basically helps you type quicker. And also it will basically predict your text. So let me show you how to turn on swipe typing on your Samsung keyboard. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find general management. Now from here, scroll down and find Samsung keyboard settings. From here, scroll down and find swipe, touch and feedback. Tap on that. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on keyboard swipe controls. And now you wanna find this option, swipe to type. So you can enter text by sliding your finger from one letter to the next. So this works best with the full keyboard layout. You can't use undo, redo gestures at the same time. So once that's selected, tap home, Go back to your message app. Now you wanna go ahead and open up your keyboard and now you can go ahead and type. So are you ready to type with swipe keyboard? If you play back my video, you'll see that when I'm sliding across the keyboard, I'm not going to all the letters. I'm just going to some of the letters However, your Samsung S25 is really smart as it will predict what you're trying to type. So as you can see, are you ready to type with swipe keyboard? So this is a faster and a smoother typing experience, especially useful when you're typing with one hand. And that wraps up 10 insanely helpful S25 Ultra features that can make your life easier every single day. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. If this helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're always up to date with the latest Android tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.